Several years ago, leaders at Skyline College in San Bruno, California, were facing the same economic realities that have affected communities across the U.S. An economy in decline, rising unemployment, and a growing number of residents earning too little to make ends meet. These negative trends were playing out on campus, with students struggling not only to buy textbooks and pay fees, but simply to stay in their homes and eat. Hunger and homelessness had found their way into the 43-year-old community college. The leaders realized that students' needs went far beyond education, presenting Skyline College with a major challenge. Could the college fulfill its vision of inspiring learners to achieve not only intellectual fulfillment, but economic and personal fulfillment as well? Historically, the California Community Colleges were uh, designed so that uh, all Californians who had the ability to benefit from an education would have open access to low-cost post-secondary education. So it means that the colleges are designed to serve students regardless of their socioeconomic condition. However, the economic circumstances of the nation and the state of recent are having students present to us with increasingly complex barriers that they have to overcome in order to meet their educational needs or in order to meet their uh, goals. So in many ways, um, the challenges are much more complex than perhaps community colleges may have had to um, deal with as they support students in navigating the educational process. Um, but it's probably commensurate with the changes in the economic situation of the nation. Students who are facing economic hardships need opportunities to earn a meaningful wage, move out of poverty, and become financially stable. Skyline College committed itself to providing those opportunities, despite budget cuts and a tough economic climate in California. The college formed partnerships with two organizations that helped it to establish innovative programs in both education and student services. These programs move students into the workforce more quickly, where they can make a better life for themselves and provide access to integrated financial and support services. Right here in our service area of the college, one-fifth of the population struggles to make ends meet every month. And so for us, knowing that our, the people that we're trying to serve here at the college are among those people who struggle to make ends meet, we know that great instructional programs are best uh, realized when the students in those programs are sufficiently resourced so that they can be successful toward their goals, whether they're educational goals, career goals, uh, financial goals, the whole person. So it's a part of the vision of the college to serve the whole person. Working with the Career Ladders Project, a statewide initiative, Skyline College has established career advancement academies that give low-income adults defined pathways to high-wage jobs or post-secondary education. Academy students receive technical training for a specific career, along with basic skills instruction taught within the context of that sector. The programs include work readiness and career guidance services and draw on resources of the college and workforce agencies. Skyline College has academies in the automotive technology and allied health industries and plans to establish more programs to serve people who might otherwise be excluded from educational opportunities. We're finding that even in this economy, employers report skills shortages, particularly in skills in occupations that require a little more than high school, but not necessarily a four-year degree. These are accessible if we offer the programs in a way that really supports students. The Career Advancement Academies are designed to combine foundational academic skills, math and English, with career technical training to accelerate their development, to provide a strong peer support community. The students take the courses all together as a group and help each other get through. The courses combine both literacy, numeracy, and technical skills and allow students to begin attaining their certificate without having to wait and go through a long sequence of basic skills courses. The normal way is when students come, we assess them, we put them in basic skills, and then they have to complete that sequence before they ever get to their technical training. And frankly, many, many students never get through that sequence. 
This is a really innovative alternative that allows students to get started right away and to move more quickly. After getting the program, uh, I found a job and uh, my boss also uh, graduated from Scala. So he totally, totally understand my situations. So he offered me like afternoon job. So after I get off school, I go, go to work. As a second part of its strategy to meet students' needs, Skyline College worked with the United Way of the Bay Area to create a Spark Point Center on campus. The United Way Spark Point Centers are dedicated to reducing poverty by providing low-income people with bundled services. The one-stop centers help clients improve their credit, increase their income, and build assets. Clients learn about technical training programs and access services from tax preparation assistance to a food bank. Completing their education is probably the first and most important thing any student can do to find their pathway out of poverty. But while they're in school, they need to have a financially stable environment in their own homes. And what the Spark Point Center does is assign each student their own financial coach and cover bas basic financial education, financial literacy, if you will, around how to maintain a positive credit score, how to manage debt. These are things that keep a student stable so that they can be successful in the classroom. The economic factors behind Skyline College's initiatives are not unique to Northern California. Other community colleges that play such a key role in workforce development might use Skyline College's educational and student service programs as a model for their own organizations. The lesson from Skyline College is to balance the core mission of providing education with the need to help students through difficult economic times as part of the school's access, enrollment, and retention strategies. I would summarize it by saying that it takes leadership that is open, that is visionary, uh, and that can see the possibilities. And so, in some ways, you might think that that's unique in, in the context of some circumstances, but I think that community colleges across this nation are rich with that kind of leadership. For more information on Skyline College, call 650-738-4100 or go to www.skylinecollege.edu.